the concept of the video is something that we call fall. And fall represents two things. The first thing it represents is that it's our first fall winter deck of cards. Yeah. So as such, we've gone with a slightly darker colorway. We've got a very uh, deep, rich green and a nice, very slight bluish black. It's something different from the very bright, vibrant colors that we've gone with in the past for our spring summer collection. So yeah, we hope people will like this one. And the second thing we wanted to capture was the beauty of failure. So to us, fall represents falling and, and we wanted to capture what would it be like if cards were to explode? What would it be like if cards were to just look like they fail, but fail beautifully? The journey towards getting better and better at cardistry, right, can only come by the number of times you fall and you drop cards on the floor. Every time before we start making a video, right, we have all these ideas. But very rarely do we get to bring most of these ideas to fruition because it's like, either the shot is too difficult and if it's just the four of us, it's impossible, right? And we found this company, Shooting Gallery, which had this boat, la, this like fast-moving robotic arm that allows you to capture flourishes in a way that has never been captured before. Yeah, so what's really cool about the boat is that with the pre-programming of the frames, you can get the camera at exactly which angle you want, you know. The bolt can move the camera so fast that like with the anaconda, you can start with a wide lens really close and show all the detail of the thumb falling, with the cards falling. Then you can pull back really quickly and get to a wide frame. So the bolt really allowed us to get compositions that we could never ever get before with regular cameras moving at regular speeds. It kind of added like an extra element of pressure because like now you're having to like stay in sync with like a machine and so you know like there's a lot of uh, extra setup time where they have to program the uh, robot arm to like you know match certain moves and stuff so as soon as they say go you have to like be exactly on with that timing. Because this is the first time, right, all our shooting is compressed into just three days. You, that's where I really feel the pressure. In this case, when you are working in such a large crew, right, every single second you screw up or you mess up, right, it's everybody else's time. Right? You have this giant, like, transformer that goes like, zh, 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 and it's just moving at a rapid pace. You can't say, oh, I'm going to slow down a bit here. If I don't get this part perfect, I'll kind of just slow down and the camera person will follow me. You don't have that luxury. It's really, you have to be 100% consistent. Shooting with the Shooting Gallery has just been inspiring. I would say the word's inspiring. Shooting Gallery is great. They're very professional and like, you know, shooting with them has been a real big lesson in just professionalism. Ahmad, you know, the, the guy who controls the the camera, he's, he's, he's amazing. He's so, he's really willing to work with us, right? And just get all the little details right, like, you know, without these minor tweaks, right, the shot will not look as good as it does. Lah. And he really understands that and he's so willing and not once have I heard him say, hey, cannot, lah, bro, cannot. The people here have been so helpful. Every single thing that we needed, uh, there are certain scenes that we needed, like the feel to be more, we are just like, hey, guys, could you get the feel a bit brighter? And immediately they go and they execute the vision so well and so quickly. Um, it's really been amazing working with them. All the people are super comfortable. Um, they're really happy and they, they really know their stuff. When they realized I needed to like split the deck into red and black and I wanted to weave it, right? They overheard me telling that to somebody else and then the next round when they picked up the cast, they already split it to red and black. They're, oh, we split it for you already. It's just such an amazing experience. The whole place is really very amazing. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's been great all around. Like, like Sebastian and the rest of his crew have been fantastic towards us. When we wanted to paint a corner of the, the white wall, right, he was looking at it and then he went and painted himself. And that, there are a ton of people around him who could have painted it, but he went and painted himself. And you can see that, you know, it's like his team is inspired by his hands-on leadership. How are we gonna top our next video, you know? And I guess we say that every year, but really, this time I really feel like, hey, how, how are we gonna do this again next year? <laughs> Right, it's gonna be better. It's gonna be more crazy. Right, it's gonna be bigger, more insane. But it's already quite big, right? <laughs>